I said last time that R number two, that's what today we're going to learn. Uh, it changed my life and my adopted son. Let me tell you just a little bit about that story. You know, you heard a little bit about my story, uh, obviously having mercury toxicity as being my source that I had to remove, R number one, right? And if I didn't remove that source, you know, obviously I wouldn't have gotten well. Uh, that's how important it is. If I didn't detox it properly from my cell, I wouldn't have gotten well either. So once again, I suffered for a lot of this information. Um, but you know, after I got my life uh, back, I, um, we had a tragedy in our family. And we ended up adopting two kids age seven, a boy and a girl. And the boy was vaccine damaged around age four. And he had all, well, he was diagnosed on the autism spectrum. He had sensory integration Asperger's. And so here I am just getting my life back and I've got Dylan in my life. And I'm thinking, my gosh, you know, I know what this child is going through. I was there, but really I was thinking, God, I just wanted to like go back to my life. I had aspirations of getting, of riding my bike and doing all those fun things. And here I am with this child in my life. What am I going to do? But I started applying really what I did to get myself well into Dylan. And one of the major things, you know, with autism and autism spectrum disorders, you have damage of two brains. Number one, this brain right here, the gut. That's the second brain, but also there's inflammation in the first brain. You know, and the thing that we understand is we have to fix the cell membrane. And when you have an impact on the cell membrane, you know, that really plays an impact on the detox, but also on the, how the cell works. So I started giving Dylan fats, and not only fats, but I started learning and reading research about fats in a specific ratio. See, when you look at the autistic, you know, community, a lot of times they're giving their child fish oil and it downregulates inflammation, so you see a positive effect. Most Americans have too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3. So if they take fish oil or omega-3, they have a positive effect. But see, there's a normal ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 in nature. And when you move beyond that and you become omega-3 dominant, now what happens is you start to get a new set of symptoms. And that's actually becoming more common today, especially in people who are more concerned about their health, taking fish oil and in the autistic community. Well, I started learning about the four to one ratio and how this ratio changes brain function and fixes the cell membrane. So let me bring you back to the cell. And I told you I'm gonna be drawing a lot of circles and really get you to understand this. I talked about detoxing the cell and true cellular detox. And I said that once this membrane becomes inflamed, and by the way, I teach when I teach a public lecture, there's three major reasons for that. Number one, raising glucose and insulin. Number two, um, bad fats, but not bad fats, of course, trans fats, you know, all these uh, hydrogenated fats that we're familiar with, but also vegetable oils, uh, which are in everything that we're eating, especially our kids. These fats come in, they attach to the fat membrane. Because remember, this cell membrane is a lipid bimet layer, which means two layers of fat. Fat attracts fat, it attaches and it drives inflammation. Okay, and also toxins are attracted to this fat membrane, right? Toxins come in, attach to the membrane and drive inflammation. So when we hear about inflammation being the cause of all these different diseases, let's be specific. It's inflammation of the cell and more specific, inflammation of the cell membrane, but also the inner membrane. This is where we make the ATP, the mitochondrial membrane. Well, I mentioned about people taking too many fish oils. Well, we know one thing that happens is there's a fat in here called cardiolipin. It's really a fat that's only been researched since 1995 because of Barth syndrome. But it's a fat that we know many people, including autistic children, but other conditions, um, their body's own immune system is attacking this fat in the mitochondrial membrane. How many mitochondrial diseases chronic fatigue, mitochondrial associated conditions are we seeing in our clinics? Well, a lot of which is due to the inflammation of this membrane interfering with cardiolipin. Well, anyways, when you take too much omega-3, you can kick off cardiolipin and omega-3 replaces it and it actually affects your cell energy. So the right ratio of fats we know actually targets this outer membrane. That four to one ratio is where the magic is. Matter of fact, we created a product called Vista. Vista is a product that years of research and working with a lot of really smart people, smarter than myself, uh, really have dialed in this specific ratio. So we're not taking too much omega-3, omega-4, we're targeting a specific ratio to fix that membrane. And by the way, when you look at the, the research in this area of ratio, we know now that it's the ratio that actually is more important than just the fats even. So we know you can even target different ratios 
Even a three to one ratio, a two to one ratio, and a one to one ratio, all were healthy ratios. But they all have different purposes and actually can create different functional changes in the cell and in the body. But the four to one ratio we know changes brain function. Matter of fact, it's the only ratio that actually is shown to change brain function. So if you're advertising about omega-3 or fish oil changing brain function, you better be careful because it's really this ratio that does it. And that's the ratio that targets the cell membrane. Look, the importance of fixing the cell membrane is now we can get good stuff in and we can also get the toxins out. So it plays a role in detox. But it also plays a role in something you would never think. If this is the nucleus, here's your DNA. We know now that it's the cell membrane that communicates information actually to the DNA. So it literally can change the way your genes are expressing themselves. And you, you heard me now in three videos talking a little bit about gene expression and epigenetics. See, again, it's, we're, we know now that certain toxins and stressors can actually turn bad genes on. But the best part is we know that if we change certain things, including this cell membrane and down-regulating inflammation and making this membrane more fluid and workable, we know that that can change gene expression for the good. See, there's many receptors on this membrane. Matter of fact, integral membrane proteins, okay? These hormone receptors are responsible for why this occurs at the DNA. See, because these receptors or what communicate with hormones like insulin or leptin or thyroid hormone T3. The epidemic is this. Inflammation of the membrane blunts these receptors. So you know what we're seeing today? We're seeing uh, doctors, alternative and all, uh, allopathic, giving more hormones or bioidentical hormones. It's not about giving more hormones. The problem is the cell can't hear the hormone because they're blunted. So me screaming at you isn't going to make me hear you hear me any better. Matter of fact, when you scream at someone, typically they're not hearing you at all. Well, guess what? Giving more insulin, I'm screaming at you. I'm blunting the receptors further. Same with thyroid hormone. You see the problem? So by giving more thyroid hormone, yeah, it can make your blood work look normal, sound familiar, but ultimately you haven't got the active T3 in the cell communicating with the DNA because the receptors are blunted. See, that's the importance of R number two. R number two is regenerating the cell membrane. Yes, you're affecting detox, you're affecting the DNA, you're affecting cellular energy, but also you're affecting hormones. And hormone conditions right now are just epidemic in this country. And again, it's not needing more hormones, it's the receptor to hormones. The interesting thing about it is if we look at one of those receptors and actually blow it up, one of those receptors actually ride on something called a lipid raft. You know what that means? It's a, it's a raft made of what? Fat. Well, when we look at what these little receptors um, uh, riding on the raft, what this raft is made of, it's made of mostly saturated fats and cholesterol. So guess what? Vista, we put some very unique fats in there that many people are afraid of, but it's the fats that really are needed to not only fix this membrane and the mitochondrial membrane, but it's fats that are needed to fix this lipid raft. And if we can fix that and stabilize the receptor, now we're gonna have an impact on insulin, diabetes, right? Thyroid conditions. Because see, we can dump more gasoline on the car, but if you can't get the gas in the car, then the car's not going to run, is it? Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to dump more gas on, but ultimately we have to get the gas in the car. The hormone, the hormone receptor is the key. You have to fix the membrane. So in doing so, we understand we can increase brain function, we can increase detox, we can increase every cellular function, including energy. Trick to chronic fatigue, you fix the cell, you get well. Remember, we have this intercellular membrane, this mitochondrial membrane that's inflamed in so many people, and it's responsible for so many symptoms because once you decrease ATP and you don't have cellular energy, now all of these things start to go wrong and all these functions start to uh, malfunction. You have to fix the cell to get well. The cell membrane is the beginning. R number two, regenerate the cell membrane. Regenerate the cell membrane. In the past, we had to put all these formulas together, fats, different you know, nutrients, everything that really revitalized these membranes. But now we have it in one formula, and that's Vista. As a matter of fact, it's so advanced, it comes in two bottles, bottle one and bottle two. We had to separate the products. That's how technical this product is. I hope you learned a lot, I know you did. R number three is next. And R number three, I tipped you off. Very important, you can't get well without understanding R number three. See you then.